What's up, everybody? This is Antonio from Scripture Radio. Uh, please like, subscribe to the channel for more updates and check out what's happening in our community. You know, I'm a pastor, an online pastor, and uh, so thankful for the people in my community. And I have a heart to reach the whole world if the Lord allows me to, right? And I'm a content creator, create content for people to consume, for people to watch. And sometimes one of the most frustrating things is when you put your heart into something <laughs> and hardly no one watches, right? You can tend to, you know, get upset, get in your feelings about something. You can see other videos and other people doing the same things that you're doing, maybe doing something that maybe you don't even agree with and it seems like it's wildly accepted, right? And you can get in your head that what you're doing isn't valuable because we are judging the value of what we do by how many clicks and views we get, right? But I want to come and talk to those of us who just believe in what we're doing. You don't have to be in ministry like me, but just you just believe in what you're doing. I, I want you to keep going. Don't quit on YouTube. Don't quit on your calling in life, your purpose in life. And if you love this media and you believe that you have something to say that will help push humanity forward, don't stop. You know, oftentimes I look at a lot of videos and I see people have these amazing stories, right? And that's something that I struggle with because I really haven't had this fantastic life. I don't have any prison stories. I don't have any uh, stories about being in shootouts. I don't have any pr uh, stories about drugs. I don't have any stories about all the stuff that sensationalized. So sometimes if it feels like, what do I have to offer? What do I have to offer? You know, I'm just a regular person living a regular life. And I don't have anything that's intriguing about me. If you listen to people, you want you to have a catchy thumbnail and I want you to have a catchy title and I want you to have a catchy this and produce this way and edit it that way. You know, what if it's just you? What if all you have is you and your perspective? What if you just, this is just me and I'm sorry I don't have Hollywood editors and I don't have all of this stuff and I don't have all this b-roll footage and I don't have all these things I don't have anything cute I'm just here to share a message in community and that's the point that I'm trying to make now at one time some of us it was about content making videos doing all these other things going viral and I found out now that as scripture radio is growing it's not about some viral short or some viral video it is about the building of community now at this moment the time that I'm filming this we're under 15 probably we're under 16,000 uh, subscribers and I'm thinking about the community that's being built in my life I'm thinking about the people and so instead of me trying to sensationalize some life or conjure up something that's not real about me, I'm finding out that I actually do fit in with a group of people from all around the world who may have been living mundane lives like mine, just regular. We don't have anything that will be on front of the, 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 our city's newspaper. We don't have newsworthy things. We don't have 19,000 scars or storylines written on our bodies and tattoos. We're just regular. We don't stand out. But you still have something valuable to share. Especially to me, if you're over 40 or 50 years old, you got a little gray coming in, a little platinum coming. You have something valuable to share. You have experience. I want to challenge people out there to be your real self if you're going to create content. I'm finally getting to the point in my own content career not to worry about any of that. That if the only way I can reach you is by your heart, then that's cool. I may have to go a long way to get to your heart. 
for the opportunity to talk about Jesus Christ, the opportunity to talk about the life that he wants to give us. I may have to go the long way. It may not be the thumbnail that calls you to click. I don't know what. It may be a friend, a trusted friend that says, hey, check this out. Check this guy out. He's authentic. He's talking from his life, his experiences, his failures, his victories, his faith, and sometimes his fear. YouTube is a beautiful place to express who you are. YouTube isn't your friend. YouTube isn't for you or YouTube isn't against you. YouTube is an opportunity. Social media is an opportunity to share something from your heart. And for me, it's ministry through the lens of community. It gives me a chance to meet so many people from around the world. So many people from around the world. So many things I have in common with people that will raise five, six, seven thousand miles from me. Somebody that speaks a different language than I, but we've walked the same road. So many people who feel like they're visibly invisible. You've lived this life, but your life is not exciting, haven't been exciting. You feel like you have nothing to say or that your life really doesn't matter because There's nothing to write home about. You just grew up, went to high school, went to college, or didn't. Got a job in a local factory or a business, started your own business, started your own family, and you've just been silently struggling with your own life and silently having victories in your own life. You're not causing any waves, no ripples. You're just being you. And now you found this thing called content creation and how do you use that when you don't have this fairy tale life? You don't have this athletic career. You don't have this academic career. You don't have this gangster history. You don't have this uh, womanizing history or this or this thing of being whatever people think is the thing that causes you to be known and people to listen to you. What happens if you're just normal, regular, average? I think average people who live average lives, there's a community out there for you. Might not be this community, but maybe you are the one to start a community. Because recently people have been so scattered, just like scattered to the four corners of the earth. And a lot of people are alone. A lot of people look around and they don't see a place to fit in. You know me as a, a disciple of Jesus, when I go on YouTube and social media, sometimes I don't find many places to fit in. A place that I don't have to be ashamed of loving Jesus. A place that I don't have to get caught up in all the culture wars. Where do you go? When you just want Christ, where do you go when you just want to be around people who love Jesus like you? Where do you go when you don't want to fight? Where do you go when you don't want to get in political battles? Where do you go when you don't want to call names and you don't want to be called a name outside of being a follower of Jesus? Where do you go to learn? Where do you go online where there's safety? Who's creating that content for your family? Who's creating that content for your kids? Who's creating that content for the father or the husband that's looking to grow up? The wife, mother that's looking to grow up. Where do you go to find trusted media? Man, so tough sometimes. And maybe this is a call just for people out there that you've been wanting to do something, but you feel like you don't have a story. You feel like, well, I haven't been shot. What can I say? Well, I haven't been carjacked or I haven't carjacked somebody and have this long rap sheet. I can talk about what I used to be like. 
Yeah, you might have stolen an occasional candy bar as a kid to, at the corner store, but you really didn't cause me any problems. Yeah, you had the occasional boyfriend and girlfriend here and there, but it's just been regular, visibly unseen. But you still deserve community. You still deserve a place to be able to voice what your life has been like, if that's what you choose to do. Sometimes when I was a little younger, I used to think my life, I've been too much of a goody two-shoe. Why would somebody listen to me? I don't have experience. I don't know what it feels like to be that. I don't know what it feels like to be that. Why would anybody listen to me? And sometimes I feel that way now. Even though I've gone through some stuff, even though I've gone through some pain, even though I've gone through some tremendous stuff in my family, my marriage, even with that, I feel like that's child's play compared to a lot of people. I don't want to lie and make stuff up just so I can get you to click on a video, just so I can get you to subscribe to my channel, just so I can get you to say, hey, it's just being real. Where do you go when you just want to grow in Christ? Grow with family, grow in love to places where you can learn to work out your relationship with God in peace, with acceptance. You know, that's why many of us do these videos. Sometimes I want so bad to create some video to make everybody say, ooh, ah, ooh, ah. I do. But then when I come back to my purpose, I'm like, I'm not, I don't have those skills. And maybe I was looking at it wrong in the beginning. Maybe. Or maybe the beginning needed to be what it was so that I could get inspired to start. But as I started doing this content, I found community. And that's the thing now that's starting to replace everything else. The value of community, the value of love. Somebody blessed me today and donated to my, to the community, to my channel. It was a, it, it hit my heart because I know that a lot of people are going through. And when somebody says what you do is valuable and I want it just to be a blessing to encourage you because you encourage me. It means a lot. See, no one can see that out out there, right? No one can see that value in 20 views. But I believe we're out here loving on real people. It's like again, people are isolated. Many people don't feel like they're seen. Many people feel like they're alone. Many people are looking for a place to love and be loved. Many people have so many things to offer. Because maybe you're not stripping, maybe because you're not showing your whole body, maybe because you're not twerking, you just like, I, I, what do I have to offer to YouTube or Twitter or TikTok or Snapchat. But I want you to know that you do have something to offer. There are little girls out here who want to be like you. There are young men out here who who don't desire a crazy fast life. Just want to encourage you. If you're going to build something, build it in community. Even if it doesn't look great to you. I mean, you don't have to be some crazy editor. Hey, just do a video and when it ends, it ends. Speak from the heart. And I think what we give from the heart to reach another heart. Will that be the slow road? It could be. But I just want to encourage 
you guys out there to do it. It doesn't matter. All that matters is your motivation. Why are you doing it? It's the why. It's the reason behind what you're doing, right? Not what somebody else is going to accept. It's from your heart. Like this video, I'm talking because I have something to share. Well, man, get to the point. The point is, I want to encourage you. Those of you who seem like I don't have nothing to offer. Those of you who may feel like, well, I have this wrong with me and my face is like this or my eyes like this or my lips are this way or my nose is shaped like this. or All these excuses. I don't have fancy clothes. I don't have all this other stuff. I don't talk well. I'm not. Don't worry about any of those things. Those those things are not limitations. Those things are opportunities for you to overcome, to keep going forward, because you have something to offer. You have something to say. You've seen a lot. You being normal, you've seen a lot. You have a lot to offer somebody who wants a quiet, peaceable life. You have a heart. You love people. You may be isolated from people at the moment. You may not trust people at the moment. But just because your life has been normal, mediocre, or you think it doesn't have much value, I promise you there's somebody in this world who just needs to hear you say, it's okay to be okay. It's okay. You don't have to be the valedictorian. You don't have to be the president. You don't have to be some millionaire throwing up money. Oh, look at how much money I make per year. Ah, blah, blah, blah. You know, you don't. See, that's the stuff. Why? Because it touches, it reaches that thing inside of everybody who wants to. Okay, let me get this money so I can talk to them. Oh, let me become this so I can talk to them. Let me go accomplish this so I can have something to say. Maybe you're just breathing right now is enough. You realize you are enough, right? Maybe God's giving you an idea to just show people how to bake biscuits, how to make salmon, you know. Maybe God's giving you an idea to read books. Maybe give you an idea to show somebody how to, I don't know, fish, how to show somebody how to change tire, change their oil. I don't know how to clean a toilet, you know, how to, how to clean a fish. How to repair a roof. I don't know. What is that thing? That you just want to add something to the world. You think it's normal. You think it's basic. But somebody's out there looking for the skill and the answers that you have in community. Yeah. So I just want to encourage everybody watching this to keep going. You're more than me, Sai. Transformers, more than meets the eye. Yeah, you, you actually have more than meets the eye. People don't know how much you possess. And I just want to call you out. Say, come on out of hiding. Come on out from, you know, being in the shadows. That a lot of people need what you got. You don't have to be afraid. You don't have to worry about making mistakes. I make them every day. I grew up with a speech impediment, stuttering and stammering, and I have a book club, and I read every day, almost. Three or four times a week I get together on the lives and read, and I stammer and stutter and mess up words. But I don't get discouraged. I'm just happy to be able to read. <laughs> I am. And if I can go 15, 20 seconds without messing up a word, oh my gosh, it's gold medal time. So by the time I get done reading for a day, I've already awarded myself with like 20 gold medals. I try to use everything in my life to boost myself up. And I think a lot of you all can use things in your life to boost yourself because up to this point, maybe some of you guys have been using everything to trash yourself. I think God's ready to shine a light on you 
I think God is ready for you to come out and be a blessing to humanity. You're way more than meets the eye. I hope this video hasn't bored you guys who've made it this far. Hope my voice hadn't put you to sleep yet. Just go ahead and step out. Step out in your own skin. Step out in your own life and your own experiences and your own skill. And you watch how this community comes around you. If you don't quit and give up too soon. Thanks again for letting me have some time in your life. I hope to see your videos out there. I don't know who you are, but I hope to see you do what you're capable of doing. And if you don't know how to do what it is you feel you should do, ask God about it. Ask him to show you how. Ask him to give you the ability. Ask him to give you the wisdom and the knowledge. He'll do it. And the world will be a better place because of that. Till next time, take care of yourself. Get out there, you normal person. Get out there. There are millions of people waiting on you. Again, I'm Antonio here with Scripture Radio. Hope to see you real soon. Peace.